Hi guys, welcome to Flying Grip Academy. Today we are going to discuss about Lambda. Here, in order to see the Lambda, here in the search bar, you can able to search for a Lambda. Now you can able to find the Lambda service and you can able to create a function in Lambda. By creating a function, you could be able to monitor a particular website whether it is working or not here i am going to create a function here we would like to type the name of the function here lambda monitoring so here i have typed a name of the function lambda monitoring web and here it is asking the runtime i am choosing a node.js environment here at the bottom you are having a change default execution role. Now here I have clicked default execution role. So create a new function with uh, lambda permissions. So now here you are going to create a role, create a function. Now a function has created. If you scroll down here it is showing a code. So now it is showing a code that it is going to check the response code from hello lambda. So now I am having a code. So now I am going to copy the code and paste it in code tab. So now here I am going to paste in tab. So click OK. Control V. So now we have pasted successfully to check the particular website amazon.com. If you would like to change this particular URL, you can able to change google.com. So that you are going to check the code. Now here in order to affect this code, you have to click deploy. Once if you are going to click the deploy, the changes are saved successfully. Now go to test and configure test event by pressing Ctrl Shift C or click it. So now here you are going to type the new event Lambda website. So now click here and here you are having a many number of templates. Here I am going to choose a allowable template. Here I am choosing a allowable template. Lambda watch. I am going to type Lambda watch logs and now save. So now here test the code. You can able to find response code is 200 on success and now it is going to show start the request ID and end the request ID and the report the request ID. So now here we are having a tabs code test monitor configuration aliases version. I am going to monitor tab to monitor CloudWatch events. Now you can able to view the lab and how the invocations and duration and error count and success rate all the things are monitored here. And here you are having the logs in CloudWatch. You can able to view the logs in CloudWatch. I am going to click view logs in CloudWatch. Now I am going to redirect it to the CloudWatch page. Now if you are going to see here it is showing a log stream. If you click that particular log stream and it is going to show the status. Here it has started, it has ended and then it is going to show the build duration, how much seconds you have used, how much memory you have utilize it. So this is all about lambda function and creating a lambda function and how you are going to monitor a particular website by using a cloud watch. If you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.